Today I will talk about femininity, sexuality and father-daughter's relationship. Sex is what we do, sexuality is who we are, how we present ourselves to the world, how we present ourselves um, in a relationship with a man, how we present ourselves at work with friends in our daily life. Sexuality plays a huge role in female life and our sexuality was formed based on three criteria. The first one is relationship with the father, the second one in the relationship with our mothers and the third part is um, based on the relationship between them because we copied a lot of behavior pattern, a lot of beliefs from our parents. And today I will talk about father-daughter relationships. And the first stage is the stage when the daughter is at the age from three to five years old. At this age, at three, the little girl already knows that she is a girl and her daddy is a boy. She knows that her mommy is a girl too. And she sees the relationship between parents. At this age, she wants to compete with her mother for father's attention. She wants to be the little princess. She wants to be the favorite one in the house. And she is trying to get all attention that she can. When she is competing with her mother, she might say something like, Mommy, uh, you should stay at home and cook dinner and I and Daddy we will go to for a walk or we will go to see a movie. Uh, often she wants to sleep in the same bed with her parents, specifically in between her mother and daddy, because she wants kind of like move away her mother and replace her. She wants to take her place. Uh, at this age, it's extremely important for little girl to lose the competition. And the father should tell her something like, you're beautiful, I love you very, very much, but I'm married to your mother and I'm husband and your mother is my wife. When you're going to grow up, you're going to fall in love with a strong, uh, successful man who will love you as much as I do. You will fall in love with him and you will uh, get married and one day you will have kids like me and your mother right now. And the girl might say that, no, I want to marry you, daddy. And that's normal, that's okay. But the daddy should explain his little girl that he loves her and he also loves her mother. And he is married to her mother. And a lot of times this does not happen in a family because the daddy is afraid to hurt his little girl's feelings or sometimes he does not know how to react and he puts her into priority between um, him and his wife. And if the daughter uh, did not learn this lesson, if this does not happen, if she did not lose uh, the competition, then when she grows up, she will be um, attracted to a triangle relationship. She will be attracted by a married man. Or she might be in, she might fall in love with a man who has a girlfriend, who has a wife, who is emotionally unavailable. She will be going from one painful, uh, toxic relationship to another. Uh, she will be suffering from love addiction. Why? Because she did not lose the competition many, many years ago. And she believes uh, subconsciously that if she was able to win the competition with her mother, then she can win a competition with any woman. And if, he, if she was able to, um, uh, to earn her daddy's uh, heart, then she can fight for any man and if the man is married or if he's dating somebody or if he is uh, un emotionally unavailable from previous relationships she believes deep inside of her that one day he will fall in love with her that one day he will 
uh, forget his wife, leave his wife, leave his girlfriend, and leave, uh, forget about his uh, previous relationship, and he will fall in love with her. But real life and her relationship with the father is two different stories. And in real life, often those women feel lonely and they don't know what to do. They uh, truly don't understand why they are going through those painful relationships when they had such a beautiful relationship with her dad. And, you know, a lot of people saying if you had a great relationship with your dad, then you will be happy and you will be it will be easy for you to find a great man but it's not always like that so at the age between three and five the little girl should feel loved should be surrounded by love but at the same time she should lose the competition with her mother and her daddy should tell her that i love you very very much but I married your mother and one day you will find your man, you will find your husband and you will be loved and you will feel happy with him and you will have a happy family with him. Like right now, me and your mommy, we have you and you will have your kids as well. Okay, the second stage in father-daughter's relationship is at the age uh, of when the girl is 12 to 15 years old, the teens years. And at this stage, the little girl, she is not a little girl, she is growing, she develops breast, hips, uh, uh, waist, and she wants to wear high heels, short dresses, she wants to demonstrate her beauty. She's learning how to flirt with guys, with boys at school. And her father is the secured man with whom she can test her sexuality, with whom she can test her femininity, her charm. And she is presenting, she, she presents herself in front of her daddy, she puts lipstick, she puts nice perfume around her and she wants to see um, his approval. She's seeking for, she's looking for his approval. A lot of fathers uh, don't know how to react. For most fathers, this is one of the hardest periods uh, in his father's-daughter relationship. Because he sees that his little baby, his little princess is not little anymore. And she is not a woman yet, she is growing. And he cannot control it, he does not know how to react, he does not know how to do it in a nice way. Uh, and often fathers are too strict, they overprotective. They should protect their daughters, of course, but a lot of times they are doing it too much and they're controlling their daughters, they're not allowing them to wear short dresses. And a girl is learning that I cannot trust men. My sexuality, my beauty is dangerous. I should not wear short dresses. I should not wear high heels because this is dangerous. And the girl might learn that uh, the best clothes for her is sneakers, tennis shoes, and the uh, hoodies. And she will hide her sexuality, she will hide her femininity. Another reaction, the opposite reaction might be when the girl is trying to fight her daddy and she will do opposite, she will wear extra high heels, uh, transparent blouses, short skirts, she will put a um, bright makeup mm, so she will do everything just to attract the man's attention and she will look mm, too sexy too much too slutty and she is gonna do all of this just to protect protest her daddy just to fight him and just to show him how beautiful and sexy she is so uh, a lot of fathers as i said don't know how to react and the best reaction is to talk to her and to tell her that you love her and she is beautiful and one day she will become a beautiful, gorgeous woman and he sees her beauty and he wants to tell her that her beauty is something that she should treat with dignity and respect. Uh, she does not need to wear 
uh, short dresses, uh, transparent blouses in order to attract men. She does not need all those attributes in order to show her sexuality. Instead, she should wear some more feminine clothes and she should respect her body, respect herself um, as a woman. And this way the daughter will receive the acknowledgement of her beauty. She will receive the permission from her father. And the father is like a god. He's the first man in her life. And when she gets his permission and when she will know that she is beautiful and she has the right to be beautiful, to be feminine, she will not have to do all those things, wear super high heels or super short dresses, put like red lipsticks and bright uh, dark uh, eyelashes. She will know that her sexuality is something that's visible already. Her dad can see her sexuality. Her dad sees her beauty. Her dad sees her femininity. And she will feel comfortable. Um, she will feel um, confident about herself as a woman. Okay, the third stage in father-daughter's relationship is at the age of 17 to 19. And this is the final push or the blessing stage. So the girl is not a little girl, any girl anymore. She's not a teenager. She is a woman. And at this stage, uh, a woman should separate from her family house. A lot of fathers are not ready, are not willing to let uh, his daughter go. Uh, a father will try to keep her in her family house as long as he can. He will give her money, he will support her, he will pr uh, protect her. And the, girl will, the daughter will feel good about that. She has place to live, she has money, she has a strong daddy. Why should she live? But uh, the negative aspect of that is that she does not need to grow up. She does not need to mature. She uh, is not going to learn how to face challenges on her own. She will not learn how to build a career. She will not learn how to build a relationship because she has a man in her life already who is her father. And her father knows that one day she will find another man who maybe she already has. And there is somebody else, some other man who will replace his place. And father feel mm, competitive, protective. He does not want any man in her daughter's life. He knows that she's not a little girl anymore, but still. Uh, and this is the, the situation when father is holding his daughter from having her own life. Um, at this stage, the father should have a conversation with her daughter and tell her that she is not a little girl anymore. And he can say something like, uh, your mother and I raised you well. We teach you, we protected you, we supported you. And now it's time for you to live your own life. You will have an amazing life. We know that we teach you well and you will be able to overcome difficulties, challenges in your life. We know that you will be successful. You will find the great friends in your life. You will find the great men in your life. And hopefully one day we will be happy to see our grandchildren. If you need uh, help, if you need support, we always hear our doors are always open for you and you're welcome at our home anytime. But now it's time for you to go and live your own life. We are proud of you, we love you, and we wish you all the best. Uh, of course, one father can use, you know, all those nice words, another father can say something short, but it's gonna have same meaning. And in this case, a daughter will feel great. She will feel that she has a huge support behind her, and she has huge approval. Her parents believed in her, she always have them and will have them for many, many years and they will still support, support her and help her if she needs it. But it's time for her to go and live her own life. 
She is the one who is responsible for her decisions. She is the one who is responsible for her actions and she can achieve almost any goal that she has in life. Okay, so those three stages, uh, the little girl, the teenage and the final push stage is very important. And of course, um, our fathers, they did our best. Some fathers did a great job, some fathers did not do, um, did not do even a little for us. And every story is different, every family is different. And if you feel uh, that you cannot present your sexuality, if you feel that you're not confident enough as a woman, if you feel that you um, don't feel comfortable in a relationship with men, if you don't know how to flirt, how to be happy, feminine woman, then there is something uh, for you to learn, there is something for you to know, to grow. And it's possible, it's possible to become that woman that you really want and if you need my help i am going to be happy to see you on my private sessions i will leave all the links below you still can become a successful feminine beautiful woman if you are struggling with your sexuality with your beauty with your self-confidence as a woman then i'm inviting you to my private sessions where we can talk about your situation and work on your sexuality on your self-esteem on your feminine beauty i will leave all the links below uh, check out my other videos uh, share this video with your friends because your friends your girlfriends uh, also need to know how to grow their sexuality how to develop their beauty and already by learning uh, the stages you will and they will get understanding better understanding of who they are as a woman and check out my other videos i have a lot of videos about relationship red flags in relationship how to find your soulmate i will leave all the links below share this video with your girlfriends let them learn a little bit about their sexuality their femininity because we as women we can support each other and we can uh, fulfill what we did not get enough in our childhood if you find this video helpful please click like subscribe and share help me to support this channel help me to release more videos because when i see your comments when i see your likes when i see your views i would like to do more i would like to create it motivates me and um, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, write them below the video or send me a private message on my social media or on my website. And of course, thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.